And as we've been saying pretty much ad infinitum, redistricting has shaken up the political landscape in Michigan. So we've been taking time to speak with political candidates wanting to represent you. Now taking a closer look at the newly created 13th district, where a number of candidates have already declared. We begin with Sri Tanadar, who made a run for governor in 2018. You've run a number of places. So, um, you know, why run for governor and then run in a district that you, you haven't lived in for very long? Um, you know, some might say, well, maybe you're an outsider there. Why not maybe uh, decide to stay at the state level for a little bit longer, representing a smaller district uh, in the state house? This allows me to uh, work on issues that I can help my district at the federal level. So I was able to do a lot of good work in the state house. I brought a lot of money uh, from the state house to the dist Detroit district. We passed the biggest education budget. Uh, my bill, $94 million for the literacy program in Detroit public school. Uh, the governor just put that into her budget. Uh, so I worked across the aisle, uh, worked on bills, uh, about 300 different bills, I think sponsored or co-sponsored. Between 2019 and 2020, Detroit saw a almost 20% increase in the number of homicides in the city. And between 2019 and 2020, Detroit also saw a more than 50% increase in non-fatal shootings. That is substantial. These are mothers and daughters and fathers and sons and children. Uh, what do you think is a solution to this problem as we see rising violence all around us? You know, we need to, and every family has a right and expectation to live and raise their family in a safe environment. You know, I I met uh, constituents who would carry a gun just to put their trash can to the curbside. Uh, you know, that's no way to raise a family. Uh, we need to get uh, the illegal guns out of the streets. Uh, we, there's a lot of uh, mental health issues that needs to be addressed. You know, the next pandemic that we are going to face is the mental health pandemic. Uh, we need to provide mental health services. And since Governor Englert's time, Michigan has curtailed mental health services. I would want to bring that back. The president is asking for a very specific ask here in the United States. The president essentially said that he wants about $6.4 billion to aid Ukraine. That includes $3.5 billion in Pentagon funding. Yay or nay, if you're a congressperson, if you were in Congress today, how would you vote? Well, we need to go along with uh, our allies. We need to, this needs to be a concerted effort. We cannot go into this alone. Uh, this is a responsibility of our uh, European countries, uh, NATO allies. We all need to pitch in and put in together. Uh, and I need to look into more into that, how that funding is happening, what other funding contribution is coming from other countries because uh, this is a joint responsibility. Uh, the more countries that we have in our coalition, we are going to do better. And Tanadar is a state rep for Michigan's third district. He has a PhD in chemistry and lives in Detroit's Palmer Woods neighborhood.